are you able to understand uh, when I say so what uh, some fans say? Romo Jozak to Kozak. You know what Kozak means? Kozak, I don't. It's uh, someone who is cool, someone who is. Oh, really? Okay. Jest takie chorwackie powiedzenie: Kolo srecze se okrecze. Fortuna kołem się toczy. Tak właśnie wyglądały ponad trzy miesiące z Legią? We would say, we would say, istina, that means true. Uh, is, it, is it only luck? Uh, or is it, is it uh, something which you down the road uh, work and then maybe deserve? But we have been a bit lucky, I must say, in some situations, even though some games, when you go back, uh, you always say, okay, why this post didn't go in against Andesia and that would be even better. But that's that's football. I always like to say the football always remembers. Uh, football always remembers, and at the end, it always kind of breaks even. And uh, you are right there where you deserve to be. W trzy miesiące mieliśmy więcej wzlotów i upadków niż niektóre kluby mają w trzy lata. I would I would say well, my sports life for sure. As I said as I said in the beginning, it's it's been uh, it's been definitely uh, it started not only cloudy. It started with a, with a, with a pouring rain and, and, and a huge snow. Now the sun came out a bit, right? Even though it's snowing today, which is which is fine for the Christmas days. But um, but uh, yeah, it was really a, a roller coaster of, of my sports life, um, experience of a lifetime, and uh, I was really enjoying it, every single bit of it. Jak wiele pracy jeszcze przed Legią? We were working hard, uh, the players and the coaching staff, uh, people in the club. Uh, I think the entire city was uh, living uh, and pushing with us uh, the good atmosphere too. Um, we still have a lot of work to do if we want to be on, on a level that I would like us to be at, and that is a Champions League, a stable, a stable Champions League club. That's that's what my wish is to be a stable Champions League club, meaning competing regularly, more or less, uh, and then being there not just a traveler but something more stable. Nauczył się pan już specyfiki naszej ligi? You know, you got to be in this job, you got to be a fast learner. Uh, whatever you do, which any, which any uh, part of football you're talking about. Uh, extra class uh, as well. Yes, I did know a bit about it, but I maybe didn't know even 5% that I know right now. I don't even think that I know everything now. I think there's going to be every new game is, uh, is a new experience, but I know a lot more than I did when I came, obviously. But I've gotten to, to learn a lot, all the ups and downs, all the, all the, all the toughness of the league, all the uh, kind of a equality of the league, because a lot of team is really, really, really good. Uh, um, so uh, yes, I'm trying to be a fast learner, just as well with my guys and my assistant coaches, we're trying to uh, learn those things fast. Podczas naszej pierwszej rozmowy w klubie nazwano pana człowiekiem twardej ręki. Romeo Jozak był przez te trzy miesiące właśnie takim trenerem? Well, somebody else should say that. Somebody else should, I think, uh, comment that that that, that phrase. Um, I think I'm a, I think I'm a guy. I think I'm a, I'm a person. And actually, I said that to the to the guys in the locker room the first time when we saw each other uh, three months ago. Uh, and I really meant that, and I mean it even now. That I'm going to be your, I'm going to be your best friend, uh, but I'm going to be your worst enemy uh, if it needed. Right? So um, depends. Heavy-handed, depends. If it needed, yes. But uh, a lot of times I'm trying to actually establish a sincere uh, and, and honest relationship with the guys, with the players. And I think we've managed uh, to do a lot of those things. Uh, but if it needed, yeah, I can be a heavy-handed person, for sure. Polacy są narodem lubiącym takie przywództwo. Co jeszcze mógłby pan o nas powiedzieć? I've traveled the world uh, really all around. I've been on every and each continent, uh, from uh, South America to Australia. I've been really everywhere in Africa. I've lived for, for a year. And I met a lot of people. Um, I can say it's a, it's a highly, highly civilized world. I've, I've met a lot of uh, people that are really having highly um, cultural manners and being really highly educated and really uh, in, a way, in a gentle way of speaking, really nation that wherever, not only in the club, club especially in the club, people are really educated and really open-minded and really uh, intellectual. But, uh, but in, the, in, in, the, in the city as well, in the restaurants, in the cafe bars, on the gas stations, when you walk past people, when people greet you, when people say hands, people were never, never arrogant and never bad. Uh, I like that personality about it. But on the other hand, we've seen, uh, we've seen how passionate fans can be, and this is the other, other, other side of it, which I like about that as well. Uh, let's say Poland could belong to the, like a northern country in a way, maybe not completely northern, but to Croatia for sure northern. 
So people, people consider northern mentalities to be a, a bit more colder, a bit more stable. But when you see the fans here in Extra Class, it's, it's crazy. It's really, it's, really, it's really nice. So uh, we invited a couple of guests here on a game against Gurnik. Uh, our friends around, uh, the, the players, uh, people that we know, our families. They, were, they couldn't believe what kind of atmosphere, what kind of, what kind of stadium we have, what kind of fans we have. So I love it. So this diversity, the, 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 let's say the cultural aspect of the country on one side and then the passion on the other side really makes it a beautiful country to uh, work and to live in for sure. Da się w ogóle porównać Polaków do Chorwatów? There's a lot of similarities, I would say, a lot of patriotism. Uh, we also the same religion, Catholics here a lot and in Croatia also a lot. It's like one of the, one of the things I would say they're really, uh, really similar or the same even. But uh, for, the, for, the, for the football matter speaking, uh, as I said, it's really, uh, we're a, a lot smaller, four million, four and something million, you guys are 40, so that's, that's a 10 times more. Um, big nation, you know, it's a big nation. It's not a country, it's a big nation comparing to us. We're, uh, we're just like when Yugoslavia broke, broke apart, we, uh, we have been something in Yugoslavia, 20 million people, now we're a small country. But I would say, uh, I would say um, uh, maybe socially, Socially, uh, in Croatia, one thing that I've noticed uh, while well, living over there and being the part of it, it's a really social mentality. Uh, people like, like to get together all the time. That's why we in Croatia maybe are good in team sports. Um, I haven't gotten to learn Poland as much as are you that social? When I say social, interacting to each other, uh, drinking coffees every morning, going to the evenings, drinking. But we are really, really, really social country. We like all these. Uh, fun festivals, uh, fun happenings. Uh, I think you do too. But this is one of the things that I kind of think maybe in Croatia we have a bit more, being, being a bit more, let's say, uh, yeah, social is the right word, right? Uh, but uh, a civilized, civilized manner wise, um, I would say Poland as a country is a lot more organized, a lot more structured, uh, following the law, following the legislation system, which I, I admire a lot. Those are the differences between two countries. Jak wygląda sytuacja z pańskim polskim? It's getting okay. Um, I, I think I do have a bit of, as I said a couple of times, I have a bit of a speaking few languages, I have a bit of a talent for that. But I must tell you, uh, when I came here, there were some priorities, right? Some big time priorities. And everybody knows what, what those priorities are. And I was focusing, I was focusing. I even must say, I think I even lost five, six kilos since I came here. Uh, it was really an intense period of my lifetime, intellectually, but physically as well. I didn't have much of a, let's say, focus for the Polish language. But I'm, after the last round we have now, the game against Wisla Plotsk, until the February, I'm pretty sure the interviews in February are going to be, let's say, at least half taken in Polish already. I hope so. Święta części odwiedzał pana Mikołaj czy Krampus? Potwór karzący złe chorwackie dzieci. I've been a let's say a lively boy. Uh, my mom that I, also, that I mentioned once in one of the press conferences uh, they gave me a hand uh, a lot of times in my life. I was a wild, I was a lively guy, uh, let's say, um, how can you describe it? But uh, yeah, there's been, there's been presence of each kind. I've never been good uh, all the time, but let's say uh, it turned out to be as a normal person, you can say, right? But it was, a, it was a roller coaster in the life like everywhere, like every kid, you can't be too straight. You can't be too normal. If you're too normal, then something is not. You gotta, you gotta make something fun stuff, right? And I did quite a few of those myself too. Chorwacji is specific świąteczna tradycja. Stawianie butów na parapetach. You know, if you get, yes, we do, and kids are, kids are supposed to clean the shoes. Actually, it just happened a couple of days ago, right? When it was a Santa Claus party, we were celebrating the same day in Croatia for that. You're cleaning the shoes, and then the kids wake up in the morning, and then either St. Nicholas or Krampus bringing them gifts of, of various kinds. If you've been good, then you get the uh, chocolate egg, you get a chocolate, you get um, any kind of a gift you, you want. But if you've been bad, you get a, you get a piece of a branch from the wood that usually parents give you, a, give you a, something on your tooth with. So uh, sometimes I've gotten that too, so I, I'm, never, I'm never got too, yeah. Piłkarze bardziej zasłużyli na wizytę świętego Mikołaja czy Krampusa? It's, it's a psychological game. It's a psychological game where uh, you want to make the, uh, them listening to you, right? You want to make the, the, uh, the attention that you trying to send the information from you to the players you want to make sure they really get the information. Most of the cases, it's, 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 um, it's needed to have a positive uh, approach, but sometimes in some games, actually we had two, three games where it has to be a really, let's say, strict, and as you say, heavy-handed, 
candid approach, uh, but uh, it's efficient. So it's a bit of a balance, it's a bit of a psychological game. Uh, so far, the reaction on my positive comments and my positive approach is very well, so the less needed to take the, the bad approach or the stricter approach, the better for me, right? But as I say, the balance is so far, so far good. Dużo różnią się polskie święta od chorwackich? Well, I haven't, haven't, haven't experienced the Polish Christmas yet. What I've seen um, uh, in the city, everything is uh, uh, dressed up, everything is shining, and we have that same thing too. We're celebrating the uh, Advent uh, a lot in Croatia as well. Uh, we have those uh, masses in the morning that start six o'clock in the morning. I think they're called Porana here or Zarana. Here is Rorata. We have a lot of those and they're really, really, really popular in Croatia. Churches are full at six o'clock in the morning. Um, I haven't experienced that here to be, even though I've been to a couple of them here myself. Uh, but as I say, I haven't, I haven't lived the, the, the real Christmas yet here in Poland. Obviously, it's a couple of days, so I can't tell quite the major differences, right? Czego życzyłby pan na Boże Narodzenie piłkarzom, pracownikom i kibicom naszego klubu? I think it would be, uh, it would be a lot of health, a lot of health, a lot of, uh, a lot of friendship, a lot of prosperity uh, to the families of the players, to the players themselves, to the people in the club, to their families, uh, fans. Uh, Everybody who loves Legia, obviously all Polish people uh, that, are, that are fans of Legia, but all others as well too. Um, this is like, a, let's say, a, a human wish to, have, to wish them all the best for the, for the Christmas and for the new year, right? But as, as a sports wish that we all kind of wish for, we all know what the wish is and uh, we, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to make it happen and that is to win Extra Klasa and to win the Cup and to uh, qualify for the Champions League. So those are. I'm not going to be modest in this case. I'm going to be really, uh, really demanding. I'm going to be wishing for three wishes, and this is those three wishes that I just said: uh, the cup, the extra class of title, and the qualifying for the Champions League.